Have you ever wondered what it'd be like if your favorite VTuber was in Final Fantasy XIV as a raid boss? Well, wonder no further. Today we're going to answer that very question about one of the most popular VTubers out there, Iron Mouse, and how a raid fight against her would go if she was in the critically acclaimed MMORPG, Final Fantasy XIV. Before we dive into the fight, it's important to know your enemy. Iron Mouse is mainly known for her Twitch streams where she brings her specific brand of chaotic, gremlin-like energy, along with her amazing singing. Some tidbits about her lore will be important to know going into this fight as well. She was originally an angel, but due to her wanting to find out who and what the creator of all things was, all the angels were banished, except for Iron Mouse. She was stuck in a box and stripped of her power, until one day a demon named Booby found her and released her. But in turn, Iron Mouse was able to take Booby's power for her own and become the Queen of Hell. After which, she again got bored and decided to go to Earth to become a VTuber, where she has been ever since. She has multiple VTuber models, each of which is a different multiverse version of her. She's also a founding member of the VTuber group V Shoujo, who will be standing in as your raid team for this fight. I would have joined in myself, but a powerful black mage would have easily conquered this fight in like two minutes. I'd rather have my character relax and fish before the next expansion. I've chosen each member's job for this fight based on just what I think would fit best for them. I know some of them play the game and use different jobs and such, so just think of this as me taking creative liberties with the choices. Your raid team will consist of 8 members from V Shoujo. The tanks will be Giga as a warrior, Kuro as a dark knight, the healers will be Matara Khan as a sage, and Henya the genius as a scholar. Rounding out the DPS will be Apricot as a reaper, Haruka as a bard, Zentrea as a samurai, and Melody as a machinist. The remaining members of Michi, Hime, and Keisan will sit on the sidelines and cheer on their other members. Yippee! Now that we know the team, it's time to venture down into the dark depths of hell, where its pink demon ruler awaits you. But before your raid team is even able to fight Iron Mouse, you have to contend with her deity, the darkest, most evil and vicious deity you could imagine. Cinema Roll. <laughs> The battle against this dark being is fairly straightforward. Cinema Roll does not feel there is a need to waste its energy fighting peasants, and is only doing this because Iron Mouse is his number one devoted fan. Cinema Roll will periodically attack the field by slapping its ears down, causing wide attack radiuses each time, then slapping both down at once from time to time. And just DPS him down, it should not take the raid group too long until they damage Cinema Roll enough where he decides to leave before unleashing even more power, thus letting the true battle begin. Iron Mouse steps in when Cinema Roll leaves, her rage only minimal to start. The fight begins with basic attacks and damage being thrown around from Iron Mouse, until she starts to get annoyed at the fight. Once Iron Mouse gets to 90% health, she decides it's a waste to spend her own energy in this fight, so she decides to have it handled by the former ruler of hell, turned butler, Booby, who appears to assist Iron Mouse. The key to this is to not interact with Booby at all. He feeds off of your attention, so if no one in the raid group does any damage or targets him, he will get bored quickly and pout before leaving the fight. This should be realized by the raid group since he does zero damage in his attacks to anyone who is not targeting him. He will leave once Iron Mouse is down to about 85% health. If you attack Booby, then he will continue to fight past 85% health until no one is targeting him or dealing him damage. If Booby stays on the field too long, him and Iron Mouse will overpower the raid and it will be an instant wipe. Once Booby leaves, the battle will continue until Iron Mouse gets down to 75% health, which will trigger her next major attack. Once Iron Mouse reaches 75% health, she will call in a favor that is owed to her from one of the raid members. Does it matter if they actually owe Mouse a favor? No, you just have to owe her a favor. No questions asked. It's just how it works, it's a brilliant business strategy. The chosen player will proceed to attack their teammates at Iron Mouse's request. This could be your tank, healer, or a DPS. The raid group should then split so part of the team can focus on dealing Iron Mouse damage, while part of the raid group can focus on the chosen raid member and DPS them down then healing them back once the favor has been paid in full, aka when their health hits 1%. Make sure to continue dealing damage to Iron Mouse during this. Once your teammate is back to full health, proceed to continue dealing damage to Iron Mouse until her next major attack, which will occur once she hits 60% of her health. For this attack, Iron Mouse has her mod team appear and invert the raid group's balls. What? Invert their balls! It does not matter if your character physically has balls or not, you will feel the pain of having them inverted, and the entire raid will drop to 1 HP remaining. 
While the raid group is stunned by the pain, Iron Mouse will summon her multiverse counterparts in pairs of two. The tanks need to split from Iron Mouse, and one tank needs to handle both the multiverse counterparts. There will be three pairs in total you have to handle. The best scenario here is to split the entire raid in two, with two DPS, one healer assisting the tank against the multiverse counterparts, and then the remaining two DPS and one healer assisting the tank against Iron Mouse herself. Again, it is important to keep dealing Iron Mouse damage as much as possible during the entire encounter. Prepare for a shift in the fight once the multiverse counterparts have been taken care of, because once Iron Mouse gets to roughly 50% health, she will start to sing. Iron Mouse will now be singing during the remainder of the fight. This will cause periodical damage to happen at a quicker pace to the tanks, and from time to time, rats and mice will be summoned to scurry across the field, which the raid party will have to dodge. The rats and mice will become quicker and more frequent as the fight progresses, along with tank busters hitting both tanks. It is imperative that the team dodges the rats and mice, or else the healers will quickly get overwhelmed trying to keep everyone alive. Make sure to continue damaging Iron Mouse as much as possible during her singing, because once she hits 10% health, she will begin to enrage. The rats and mice will stop attacking at this time, and Iron Mouse's enrage will trigger almost instantly at 10% health. She will begin yelling out a constant barrage of feisty Latinian energy, charging a blast of pure Latina rage by yelling in Spanish constantly. All you have to do is finish the fight before the timer runs out, deal enough damage, and congratulations! You have defeated Phase 1! Onward to Phase 2, Iron Mouse Unleashed. Run. The second phase of the fight begins after Iron Mouse's bell is broken during the last fight, which causes her full power to be unleashed, but she loses control, and she is now a being capable of multiversal devastation. There is nothing special about this section of the fight, you just need to deal enough damage to Iron Mouse, and survive. <laughs> you will notice that your raid group is barely dealing any damage to her, she is seemingly unstoppable at this point. Once she gets to about 98% health, she will charge a strong blast, and fire at the raid group. But before it hits, Booby returns along with his angelic counterpart, blocking the attack for the raid group. He knows what Iron Mouse is capable of when she's unleashed like this, so him and his angel form will hold back the blast until an opening is made where they can rush in and put another bell on her. While this is happening, your team needs to continue dealing damage to Iron Mouse and survive the splash damage from the blast falling off from Booby. Once you notice the cast bar for Booby to get about 75% complete, I would highly suggest now would be a good time to have the tanks utilize their level 3 limit break, making sure that the team survives until Booby is able to cast. Once Booby and Booby have their opening, the raid will be totally completed as they place the bell back onto Iron Mouse, containing her power once again. Now officially, congratulations! You've defeated the full Iron Mouse raid, and once again proven why you're the one they call the Warrior of Light. You may ask me though, what about a savage version? Well, if this video gets to 1000 likes, I will do a savage version of this fight. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. I got this idea shortly after seeing Iron Mouse get back into Final Fantasy XIV, along with a lot of friends and fellow V Shoujo members. It's a neat thing to work on, different from my usual videos. And hey, if this does really well, maybe I can turn other VTubers into raids for Final Fantasy XIV. If that's something you'd like to see in the future, let me know in the comments, along with some VTubers you'd like to see. If you want to see more updates and interact with myself and the community some more too, there's a link to our Discord server below. And I also stream over on Twitch at Jack underscore Shippo, same as on YouTube, which is also linked below. And subscribe here too, clicking my little face here. Until next time, be strong, stay safe, and keep kicking ass. Later.